all came into existence inside the jar. And welcome back to my channel, Make Lab TV. In today's video, we're going to try to understand how Nathan Co did his trick. How did he make this golf ball happier inside the jar on Pen and Teller Fool Us? Uh, for those of you who knows me or knows my videos, I'm doing this for fun, for discussion. It's just my opinion. I might be wrong. I might be right. Doesn't really matter. If you think that you know, the comment section is also open for you to write your opinion. Uh, it's not going to be filtered as long as you remain respectful. All right. So uh, let's jump into this. I want to remind you this is for magician purposes only. So if you're not a magician or don't want to uh, improve your magic knowledge and you're just curious, do not watch this. This is only for people who want to improve their magic knowledge. All right. So the first thing that we see, okay, is him make, uh, he gives the, the jar to Penn and Teller for them to analyze. Of course, they're not going to find anything because this jar is perfectly normal. Go with you for a few moments, make sure there's no way in or out of the jar except through the top. To open it? Uh, yes, please, absolutely. Uh so they're opening the jar, they inspect it, and of course, they don't find anything abnormal. And then he's going to ask Allison to go inside the crowd and to gather uh, the papers and stuff from people, uh, they're going to think of things that might fit inside the jar. It's just so random. It's completely out of my control thing. That could fit if it's... Listen, perhaps you would join me for a moment? I'm going to need like 20. All right. So around 20 people. Please write something that might fit inside the jar. And... Uh, uh, get like 20 or 30 of those back and uh, I'll ask you back on stage in just a moment. All right. And So while she's doing this, the magician Nathan Co goes back to get the jar. So, uh, she's doing that, uh, pen, tell her, how is our, uh... so how is the jar pen? Oh yeah, it's good. It's good. Seems legit. All right. So uh, he grabs the jar, goes back on stage, puts it in the pink box. Okay. And uh, this is our target. So whatever you guys dream. So puts it in the box here. But is it really going inside the box? Maybe it's going inside his jacket. I'm not really sure exactly where it's going but let's just say it's going inside the box all right but the real magic part is uh is that right here soon i'm going to show you so <clears throat> if you've watched uh pen and teller talk about uh how like giving him the code on how he did the trick they're talking about how uh, he went to the chair the first time and then at the end when he comes back to pick it up he's not using the chair which is a huge mistake okay because it's kind of revealing that he doesn't really need the chair to get access to the box there so he only needs the chair to do a switch which we're gonna see right here so, you got a jar inside. so right here look at his uh, right hand with the pink box holding back to the chair this is because there is something behind the chair there, and this is the jar with the golf ball in it. And as he is doing this, he is putting the jar with the golf ball inside the pink box. Okay, so that's what he does. This is this chair here is only for him to do this switch. So as he is doing that, that's where the switch is happening. Just about. 17 feet so now it's about 17 feet it used to be 10 feet which is interesting above the earth so now is grabbing this uh this anchor chief here what is it is inside this anchor chief i am not 100 percent sure i think that the maybe the golf ball prediction is uh inside this anchor chief but uh I'm not 100% sure about it. All I know is he carries this anchor chief back with him all the way uh, next to Allison. So now, one thing for sure is this is a force, okay? So the golf ball suggestion doesn't come from the public. All of what Allison did, asking the public to write down things on the paper, 
this is all a distraction okay because whatever she is going to pick it's a forced it's a forced pick okay and it's in and it's in the way that is folding the, the, the paper and everything that whenever she she puts her whatever she puts her end inside there she only gets a choice of maybe two or three and they're all the same thing written on it so she's not picking from the audience choices but exactly uh, papers that the magician wrote himself and it's probably a secret pocket inside the anchor chief i don't know exactly exactly how it's folded and how the force works but i know 100 percent for sure that this is a force grab one for us allison and, and hold it tightly against yourself just uh keep that card very nice and so keep it tightly there and then after that is opening everything I'm not sure. he empties the anchor chief with all the papers on a plate sure what that means, but and he shows pen and teller for sure the audience the people writings and everything but it doesn't really matter both of them knows that it was a force whatever Allison picked was a magician force and that's why uh, he's not bringing the anchor chief because what is the gimmick thing here was the anchor chief at the back that's where there was the other cards probably with golf ball written on it where allison was forced to pick inside the anchor chief on the table whatever is on the plate doesn't really matter that's the people's choice and of course pen and teller will not find anything awkward about it this is just a distraction for them so now, so a golf ball, that worked. So now, all he's, all he's got to do is climb back there, pick up the box, and then open it. And we see that this jar has only uh, one golf ball in it. There's no, it's not two jar, it's only one jar. And of course, it's just a simple switch to happen at the chair. As simple as that. Is there another way to do it? Do you guys think I was wrong at some point? Maybe I was. Uh, I might have some details off. But the main idea here is that golf ball was the magician choice. And that there was a switch. This is not the same jar that Penn and Teller inspected, okay? If you watch their explanation at the end, they even say that, oh yeah, this is the kind of thing with the golf ball inside a jar that you can actually buy. Of course, it's a different jar, and he's gonna make it, he's gonna ask uh, Penn and Teller to inspect it as well. So another thing he wants them to inspect, but of course, they're not going to understand how the golf ball got in there because it was created like this. It's something that you can buy like this. You know what I mean? So it's a force. There was a switch with the chair. When I told you there was that switch, you can check it again. I think that's how we did it. If you have any other ideas of how we might have done it, let me know in the comment section below. Let's talk about it. Let's stay respectful. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.